All right, greetings from the shop. I'm excited to show you my new North Star 80 gallon air compressor. Um, some of the highlights of this machine is that it has a Balder seven and a, seven and a half horsepower motor. It has 24.2 CFM, which is absolutely monstrous in the uh, commercial air compressor world. Comes with a high end switch. It has a um, glass with oil regulator here that it also comes with. And then it has a half inch NPT out, which I went ahead and carried over here um, to my regulator. Down at the bottom, it already has plumbed in a quarter inch valve for the drain. You can see that um, I drilled the whole pattern out, was able to wiggle it over. One thing I didn't take into consideration, if you look here, the tank hangs out over my anchor. So um, I'm still figuring out how I'm going to manage this, but with the compressor on these rubber feet, it hasn't moved at all. I did read some horror stories of compressors, quote, walking across their shop, which I got to be honest, I don't think this thing is going to walk anywhere until I get it bolted down. But just to be safe, I didn't want to lose it. You can see that I have it chained in two spots. It's chained on this side and I also have it chained over on this side until I get a permanent solution to mounting it. Well, you may think, well, dude, just pick it up and set it over the bolts once they're in the ground like most people do. That's a good idea, except I lifted it off the pallet with my log arch trailer and my dust collector, as you can see, is above it. So I don't have a lot of room to vertically lift this thing off and I'm nervous that if I use my pallet jack to slide it over the bolts, then I'm gonna bend one of the bolts because this thing weighs like 580 pounds. But for the time being, if this quote walks across my floor like others on the internet have described, I will do another video and tell you that I was wrong. But I'll just tell you right now, look at this. I marked this with a Sharpie and I've been running it a lot. There is so much weight on these heavy rubber pads. I don't think this thing's gonna move. But anyway, I will find an alternative bolt to sink these down, but for right now, it's just fine. So I just wanna take a second and show you how the compressor arrived. It came from Minnesota, so Minnesota to Reno is a long way. I was super nervous about it being shipped that great of a distance, but it had some huge cardboard packing and supports all around it, and it arrived completely undamaged. So my father-in-law and I used the log arch trailer to lift the compressor up off the pallets and then we ended up moving it onto the pallet jack and uh, once we got a plan rolling it really wasn't that hard for two people to move the compressor into the garage. So to give you a little background on how I ended up with the North Star, this was actually the compressor that I almost purchased. It's an Ingersoll Rand. The price is really attractive. Um, it does have 15.8 CFM at 90 PSI. There's a lot of bad reviews with the motor um, all over the place. And when I talked to the people at Tractor Supply, they told me out of the 20 they sold last year, they had had like seven or eight returned. So I didn't feel like dealing with that, so I moved on. So this was definitely a runner up for me. This is the Quincy 60 gallon, it has a fantastic reviews. It also comes with a Balder motor, which I like, five horsepower. This has 15.4 CFM at 90. Again, I was really close to buying it, but I decided to step up to the higher CFM rating. So this next Quincy was also a runner up for me. It has 23.6 CFM at 100 PSI. You can see that the price is significantly higher than the North Star. And when I looked at the comparable motors and comparable pumps, to me, the North Star seemed like a better value. Although there are many people that have the Quincy and they're also satisfied with that. So here's the receipt from my machine. It lists at $26.49. Uh, the Quincy that we just looked at was $31.99, so that's a $550 difference. I jumped on this compressor a little earlier than I wanted because if you look at this next screen here, it's November 2021, inflation is going bonkers, and this compressor has already raised in price. So I'm glad that I bought it when I did. So this replaced 
my older compressor from Harbor Freight, which was this 29 gallon, two horsepower, 150 PSI. I loved this compressor, but it was constantly running. Here's the thing, I have a plasma cutter and I want to eventually get a Langmuir plasma table. Um, and so I want to possibly get a vapor blast cabinet also, so I need bigger air. But just to show you, how this thing recovers, which recovery is the big word that I read on this. And you'll see when this thing kicks on, it builds back to pressure. You never have a pressure drop when you're running tools, which is pretty cool. Let me show that to you right now so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. All right, for this demonstration, I'm gonna show you, uh, this is a standard cutoff tool, which pretty much everybody has. The tricky thing with this is that when you're holding it, the blade is 90 degrees to your hand, which can get kind of grabby. I picked up this tool, which I absolutely love. This is an inline um, cutoff tool. And so basically you hold it almost like a circular saw. Um, this thing is really cool. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you cutting through this ductwork. And if you're a woodworker guy and you're doing ductwork, I always use this spiral pipe instead of the stuff at the big box stores. I really like this. I'm gonna show you using first the central pneumatic and, I, and I'm gonna hold up my hand when the power starts to drop. So you'll see when the compressor kicks on, I'll get them both charged up and then we'll use the North Star one and you'll see that although it kicks on, we'll have continuous power throughout the whole cut. All right, the other thing I wanna show you is a noise comparison. So if you're wearing earbuds or headphones, I'm gonna to try to do this in a real time noise distance from the GoPro away from the compressors to give you an idea of the difference in sound. Here's the Harbor Freight. Here's the North Star. One more time. So I kept using the tool when it was bogging down to the point where the blade just got stuck in the pipe. And then I'll show you here, I bring the pipe up to the screen. You can see that it got basically about, I don't know, 70% around the whole cut before it stopped. So not too bad. Okay. 
So you can see that during that cut um, with the 80 gallon reserve, the compressor never even had to kick on and I had full power to the tool the whole time. Right now I wanted to film this and show you that rapid recovery that we were talking about. I mean, this thing is screaming fast to refill and that's why it has an advertised 100% duty cycle. They obviously don't want you to run it nonstop all day long, but even if I was still using the tool, I would still be within the range of full power because of the size of the pump. All right, well, I think we have geeked out pretty hard on this initial compressor overview. One of the thing I forgot to mention is in these higher end units, they all have similar build quality. So this pump and the Quincy both have the Swedish steel valves in the pump. It's cast iron with bearings on both sides. It's got a serviceable crankcase, all the things that the high end compressors have, this North Star pump has as well. It also has what they call low vibration technology, which I think more refers to the design and the weight distribution from what I can see. And as I showed you a lot of video of it running, um, it runs really smooth. It doesn't vibrate excessively. Overall, I'm very impressed. Um, does have a two year commercial warranty and a four year residential. So I think that's a pretty fair deal for the price I paid. Overall, I'm really satisfied right out the gate. Everything was easy to install. It has a magnetic starter on it. You do the wiring connection right there. It was real straightforward. Um, so we're gonna be using it in some future projects. And at about a one year mark, I will give you a review and tell you how it's working. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.